So there is this controversial situation going on in Texas where this uh, student, DeAndre Arnold, uh, is now not being permitted to graduate unless he cuts his dreadlocks. Uh, he goes to the school Barbers High School in Mont Bellevue, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I think it's a little ironic, too, that the name of the school is called Barbers High School. Like, huh? Um, this is him right here. I'm going to play a little clip and then I'm going to give you a little bit more of the details regarding the story. I would love to hear your thoughts. And there's one thing that I do kind of like in particular about this school, uh, regardless of their stance is that they've taken a stance. A lot of times, uh, companies, schools, whatever, they back down to the culture, the cancel culture, the force culture. Uh, one of the um, superintendents, Greg Poole, one of his statements here is said is local control is sacred to this country and we will not be bullied or intimidated by outside influences. So I think that's kind of interesting and dope in a way that he's actually sticking to his guns. But is it right, though? Is it right? Barbers Hill High School student DeAndre Arnold has always been a good student. A B student. He has dual credit classes that he's taking. You know, he's not a problem. But Arnold's mother, Sandy, says her son's hair has lately been a problem at the school and one that sent him to in school suspension. I mean, this is, is a part of long. I mean, it's kind of it's kept up from here in this picture. It's not like it's like a really long um dreadlock situation uh one of the bits of information that i got from the articles this is brought to you from clip houston.com and also nbc news according to the mother three months before the graduation is when the school brought in these new rules uh this dress code as it refers to hair and the new rules stipulate that hair must be clean and well groomed uh from the father's part uh the father's from trinidad and uh, his family's worn it for years the men in the family uh, and they stay here that they believe they're following dress code, especially when he puts his hair up. Um, I believe uh, DeAndre stated here, they say that even though my hair is up and I follow the regulations, all the regulations, uh, that if it was down, it would be out of dress code, which is kind of ridiculous a little bit to me. Um, Houston Texans wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins tweeted in support, telling him never cut it. The district responded and said that they do allow dreadlocks. However, we do have a community supported hair length policy and have had it for decades. Uh, BH is a state leader in high expectations in all areas. Uh, the superintendent, Greg Pohl, uh, stated here that the district's board of trustees, which they made sure to say, which has included African-American representation, takes their role of representing the local community as one of their chief priorities. So he's saying, or I guess he's trying to say that they have a diverse board of uh, diverse, sorry, diverse board of trustees. Of who he is, our beliefs. DeAndre's family is from Trinidad. He says a lot of the men in his culture grow their dreadlocks. These are pictures of some of his family members. I really like that part of, you know, Trinidadian culture. So, I mean, I really embrace that. The dress code is off the shoulders, above the earlobes, and out of the eyes. DeAndre wears his hair just like this, in which he says is in compliance with the dress code. I've never been a dread person myself. I've never been into females that have dreads. Uh, not even really into females that have like the weave. I like to be able to touch hair and like put my fingers through it. It doesn't have to be like, you know, straight hair, but I like to be able to touch hair and whatever. There's a lot of women that don't like the hair touch or played with or whatever. I like to be able to touch the hair, feel it. I don't want to feel um, weave or uh, whatever the dread stuff is. No offense to the people that do that. Uh, but as far as this situation, I mean, for school, I don't know, man. They, I mean, this kid is right about to graduate can they stop him from graduating it's kind of crazy i mean it says they're not going to allow him to walk or return to school so can he still graduate uh i mean maybe this to give him some leniency or some sort of grandfathering in because they just started this three months this new new rule i guess but the school says it's been decades i don't know and especially if this is like their culture, the Trinidadian culture. I mean, they even showed pictures and stuff like that of his, you know, his family, his father. I don't know what you're doing in a situation like this. I mean, I like that they're taking a stand, but is this the right stand to take, though? This is something that's probably not going to be a good look for the school. I think that the pressure will still hit them, especially since he had the, the Houston Texans uh, wide receiver support. Um, but I don't know. He might have problems in the future getting a job.
having a certain length. There's probably certain jobs. I mean, just t- t- thinking of my own personal experience, like uh, Ivy Room, you know, I used to make a lot of IVs, chemo, pediatrics, medications, and sterile environments. There's probably only so much length you could have on your hair uh, that would be uh, sterile, that could be in a sterile environment. I'm sure there's there's dress codes and there's guidelines. You can't even wear jewelry and makeup in a sterile environment to make IVs. Not that this guy is going to do that. He might have um, problems in the future. But for high school, it's probably not that serious, though. You know, just let this guy graduate. Let's read some of the comments. Uh, we got a comment here from Brian said that uh, it's not about the dreadlocks at all. It's about the length and a private school should have the right to decide the length of one's hair if they want. If the mom has proof that they changed the policy, that's different. So there seems to be a discrepancy because the school saying it's been in place for decades. The mother said this happened three months before, after Christmas or something like that. Um, Creative Diva says, why doesn't he just wear an Afro wig? I've never heard of an Afro wig. Comment down below. I could probably look it up. I don't know what an Afro wig is. Uh, this person said, I'd hate for him to lose his dual credits because if the suspension remains in place, the parent will have to pay back the money for dual credits. Hmm. Uh, if the mother has a documentation uh, that shows before and after the policy changed, well, that perhaps, well, perhaps she can sue the folks. Greg Welp said, how pasty white is the school board? I guess he didn't read the, he didn't read the article. Uh, LaRonda said, sounds like the school is in the wrong here. They should amend the policy at once and publicly apologize to the student. Dreadlock hair is a part of the people's culture, like uh, wearing a hijab or the Holy Cross. Somebody commented under that and said, dreadlocks look very unprofessional. A Holy Cross is religious, is a religious symbol for being Christian. Somebody commented under that. It's not up to any individual to decide what is an accepted religious symbol or not. There are several people slash religions who do not accept a cross, anything but jewelry. Bottom line is this is ridiculous. It is hair. It is hair. It didn't just show up. He had it since attending school as well as it could have been certainly grandfathered in. <clears throat> that was one of the things I mentioned. Just. Changing the policy mid flow is absolutely unacceptable, particularly when you're playing with a major accomplishment of a young person's uh, life. Somebody commented, Barber's Hill. You go to the Barber Hill to get a barber haircut. I don't know. We'll do anything to be noticed. I don't consider them. I don't consider him to have hair. The next white hippie boy is asked to cut his gross stringy hair. He should say he's paying homage to his Viking Gallic (laughs) ancestors. Uh, That's kind of funny. We're on our way to a lawless society. It's only fair to let all races have a level level playing field. Uh, Somebody commented, I knew a kid in high school that started growing his hair during his junior year, he was skinny, short guy, and was able to evade the dean of boys and the principal by blending in with the crowd. When he changed his glasses, he had to go to the main intersection near the offices. All of his teachers liked him as well. He was liked him as he was smart as a whip, so they didn't complain. He finally got caught with his hair down to his shoulders and was told to go home and not come back until he got his hair cut. Damn. I don't know. There's a bunch of comments, uh, but you guys comment down below. Let me know your thoughts.